everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, so please subscribe. So in this video, I have made an affordable and effective skincare routine for oily skin and this routine is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation. So this video is for people who are not skincare enthusiasts but they want to learn about their skin and get it on the right path. So as always, before I get into the products, please know that I'm not a licensed esthetician, I'm just a consumer like you. And also, you do not need these many steps in your skincare routine. If you just want to get a plain, simple skincare routine for your morning, you would need a cleanser, a moisturizer, an SPF, and then for your evening routine, it would just double cleanse and moisturizer. So everything else that I speak about in this routine is pretty much added extras to just, you know, go the extra mile. So if you are considering trying some of these products, please, please, please do not forget to patch test you guys. It is very important that you do. It is now the morning routine. We are going to start with a cleanser because you want a fresh, clean base for the rest of your routine. I've just cleansed my skin and I use the IQ Derma Quench Cream Wash. This is a rich cream cleanser that turns into like a creamy foam leather. It doesn't leave your skin feeling dry and stripped and it is also soap free. It also has propylene glycol which is a humectant which means it's a hydrator and it also has um, white tea which is an antioxidant. Now moving on to my favorite step which is toning. I also just want to say finding a hydrating affordable toner that's drugstore was very hard to do. If you can suggest a hydrating drugstore toner that is affordable please link it down below. Even if it's not affordable actually because we don't have much to work with please link it down below toning is not a necessary step but i i believe that it's very important because it hydrates your skin and we all know that hydrated skin equals healthy skin also when you have hydrated skin it allows for better absorption of the active ingredients in the next products that you're going to use so for my toner i've been using the nature's nourishment rose water and glycerin this is like hydrating water which i love and this is my second bottle it has a watery texture and it has a really simple ingredient list as well it's got glycerin rose oil and aloe vera which are hydrating it is not fragrance free though and it does have red slash pink color dye in it so my only qual with this is the packaging what i had to do is transfer this into like an old spray bottle that i have this is the kick on your mist toner when i do apply this toner i apply it in layers because i really really want that hydrated skin even if though your oily skin you still need to hydrate your skin so after adding two layers, this is what it looks like. Really nice, hydrated skin. So now we're moving on to the serum stage. I included two serums in this routine to just give people options because you might not like the one serum, you might like the other one. So just so people can weigh out the options. Currently I've been using the Pond's Radiance Serum. So niacinamide is the third ingredient in the serum and that's initially what caught my eye. Niacinamide, which is also known as vitamin B3, is a does everything type of ingredient. It helps with hydration, it reduces hyperpigmentation, it decreases fine lines and wrinkles, it minimizes pores, it helps with acne, it helps with oiliness and also improves the skin's barrier function. And this particular serum has humectants that are pretty high on the list such as pentylene glycol and butylene glycol. It also has this ingredient which I cannot pronounce and this ingredient is an antibacterial and helps brighten the skin. This serum also has sunscreen in it but I've researched everywhere, tried to look everywhere. Pons doesn't indicate the SPF number so I don't know how high it is but I still use it at night. One thing I like about the serum is the texture of it. It really glides on nicely on the skin and it leaves a very nice hydrated base. So we're now moving on to the second serum and this is the serum that I'm most excited to use. This is the Domactin Equitone Dark Spot Serum. I've said this in my previous video but I really do get excited to use this serum and that reason is because the fourth ingredient is licorice root extract. Licorice root extract helps with evening out the skin tone. It helps lighten discoloration and brown marks that are caused by acne breakouts, eczema, flare or sunburns. This fifth ingredient is also bearberry extract which has a very well documented ability to brighten the skin, heal UV damage and banish sunspots and when I apply the serum, I apply it twice. Like I apply two layers because it is very lightweight and has a very, very watery consistency that gets really absorbed into the skin. So what I would say is that it's not the most hydrating serum in the world but if the rest of your routine is hydrating then it should be fine i will say this again i haven't been using this serum for that long this is my second bottle but i would suggest if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation then definitely get this serum um give it about two to five months for it to work because hyperpigmentation is not an overnight success it is something that just takes maybe even two to three months just to budge just to get the hyperpigmentation to start moving okay so now we're left with our second last step which is moisturizer. For my moisturizer, I will be using the Nivea Daily Essentials SPF 15 Light Moisturizing Day Cream. This is a light hydrating moisturizer. Don't be alarmed, it does say for normal skin, but I think people with um, oily skin can use it. 
It is packed with humectants and emollients and these are ingredients that are going to help soothe the skin and make it supple. I also like that it rubs in so nicely into the skin. It has SPF 15 but we all know that SPF in moisturizers is not enough unless it is SPF 30 and that is not the case. So we're going to have to apply a separate SPF. Okay so we're now moving on to sunscreen. Usually I would recommend to you guys the Derm Opal Moisturizing SPF 30 sunscreen But I will not be using that sunscreen today because I have run out of it and I cannot get it again So we're just gonna have to go with my second option, which I do like more. It is a bit pricier though So I'm using the Eucerin Gel Cream Dry Touch Sensitive Protect SPF 50 plus This is a chemical sunscreen and it is a ultra light gel cream type of sunscreen and it is not sticky and it gets absorbed into the skin and it dries down in a moisturized matte finish. So this sunscreen is recommended for the face and body but I don't like having a dry body. My skin is very dry over there so I would just only use this for my face. And because I only use it for my face I am more inclined to use it because look how big it is. It's pretty big especially for facial sunscreen because you have to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours and the small sunscreens they're great but you can go through that in a week if you're really applying your sunscreen because you're trying to you know minimize that hyperpigmentation so I do like this because I just like bigger things it just lasts longer you don't have to continuously repurchase and I have no problem layering the sunscreen and reapplying it throughout the day okay I'm now done with my morning skincare routine and then I'll come back with my evening routine okay so I'm back it is now the evening. So in my evening routine, I usually double cleanse my skin. If you're wearing sunscreen or makeup, it is important to double cleanse your skin at the end of the day to avoid clogging your pores and just to wash the day off. You don't have to use a balm or an oil cleanser or a micellar water. You can simply just use your cleanser twice if you try to save money. You don't have to double cleanse at night if you're not wearing sunscreen, but then you should be wearing sunscreen. So you should be double cleansing when you use sunscreen. Do you see where I'm going with this? Before I get into the evening products, I just want to say, please Please do not use makeup wipes as a cleansing stage. They are honestly like the worst way to remove anything off your skin. You're better off just using a micellar water or a cleansing oil just to break everything down. Then it's full of sunscreen and right now I'm going to be going in with the simple hydrating cleansing oil. I really love this oil cleanser because it's an affordable oil cleanser with a simple ingredient list. And I know if you've got oily skin, you're probably scared and you're thinking oil cleansing, please, please just give it a try because oil cleansing is a gentle way of removing your sunscreen and makeup and cleansing oils wash away excess sebum and blackheads that are stuck in the pores without leaving your skin feeling dry. The ingredient for this is grapeseed oil and it makes up 70% of the ingredient list and um, grapeseed oil is non-comedogenic which means that it's a product that is formulated to avoid causing clogged pores and due to its high fatty acid content it is able to reduce clogged pores eliminate acne causing bacteria and balance oil production they say use two to three drops but in my opinion that's not enough you do need maybe just a few more drops so you can get that nice slip that you get when you're oil cleansing and also when you oil cleanse you'll start to feel like a gritty feeling on your fingers that is the sebaceous filaments coming out because oil attracts oil and when you use an oil cleanser you need to emulsify it which means adding water and it will change into this milky white consistency and for my second cleanse i'm going to be using the iq derma quench cream wash Hey, I have now just rinsed my skin and it's now time to go in with the toner and just like my morning routine I will be using the nature's nourishment rose water and glycerin. Okay, now it's time to move on to exfoliation. Like I said, this step is not a necessary step, but I feel like it is very important because you want to properly remove the dead skin cells on the skin surface, which helps unclog pores and uncover fresh skin cells underneath. Exfoliating helps your other products penetrate deeper into the skin and this makes them more effective. I exfoliate my skin two to three times a week, but that is because I've built that tolerance. You know, I'm not new to the exfoliating game. I've been doing it for a very, very long time. And there are two Two ways to exfoliate your skin. There is physical exfoliation and then there's chemical exfoliation. Physical exfoliation is using scrubs and cleansing brushes and chemical exfoliation is using products with ingredients like BHA, AHA and PHA. So those are like your glycolic
stomach acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid, mandelic acid. I prefer to use chemical exfoliants. I don't really like physical scrubs because they can tend to be really abrasive and what most people tend to do is that you feel like, okay, let me add pressure or you're not adding the same amount of pressure all over your face because when you do that, you feel like you're doing something to your skin. Really, you're just being really harsh on it and causing micro tears. But I don't want to really get into exfoliation because that's like a whole video on its own which I will be making in the future. So for my exfoliating step, I'm using the Eucerin Derma Purifier Skin Renewal Treatment. So this is a very strong exfoliant which has a mixture of BHAs, PHAs and AHAs. It is a 10% hydroxy complex which is a combination of glycolic acid, salicylic acid and polyhydroxy acid. This serum is really hydrating you guys and has a hydrating and moisturizing ingredients like glycerin, citral, alcohol, panthenol and it also has licorice extract which helps soothe the skin. I really love the texture of it and I love the way it feels on my skin. It's very lightweight but really really nourishing which I love. So Eucerin recommends that you use this every day, once a day and I think the fuck not. This product isn't bad but if you've never used chemical exfoliants, using a 10% serum every day is a bit much especially if you're just starting off i personally feel there's no need to exfoliate every day honestly two to three times a week is enough if you've never used chemical exfoliants i don't think you should be using this more than once a week you need to build your skin's tolerance and also be very cautious of the product because it's very high percentage which is 10 percent one last thing Oof, i've been talking so much if you're going to use chemical exfoliants you have to use sunscreen or rather not use chemical exfoliants at all. That part is just not negotiable. Now it's on to the serum stage. I'll be using one of the serums that I use in the morning, which is the Dermactin Equitone Dark Spot Serum. Okay, we're now on the last step, which is moisturizer. For my night cream, I will be using the Nivea Daily Essentials Regenerating Night Cream. This night cream is marketed to people with dry or very dry skin, but when it comes to my night routine, I don't really care who it's marketed for because it's my night routine. The third ingredient in this moisturizer is shea butter, and shea butter is an emollient, which means it's going to soften the skin. One thing that I love about this night cream is that it is going to seal and lock all that good work that we just did now. It has a very rich and thick, creamy consistency. This moisturizer is really nourishing. I would also really recommend it for people with dry skin. Okay, and we're now done. Can't wait to go to bed. So I would like you guys to please suggest some hyperpigmentation products that are drugstore and affordable. Actually, no, they don't have to be affordable because we don't have much to work with. Please link them. There's a bug in here. Please link them down. <laughs> Please link them down below and let's have a discussion about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Bye. Oh my god, okay. I need to go. I need to kill this bug.